What's up, Gabriel Streamcast guy here, and today we're going to attempt something I've never done before, which is sort of a live gameplay demonstration of this new indie game that's about to come out called Sifu, which is basically a martial arts crazy freaking brawler that's honestly pretty impressive. But what I want to do is just kind of check it out and talk about the goods and the bads, because I have beaten this demo, it's an early developer build of it, and I'm very impressed, but I kind of want to show you how it works instead of just telling Telling you about it. So let's begin. It seems like Sifu is going to be based on a series of levels that are sort of like setups for martial arts movies. Things like Tony Jaws, The Protector or something. Really long drawn out crazy interactive fight scenes. Now this first one that we have here is called The Club and uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> like, all right, so you check this out. Essentially what happens is the main gimmick, if I could no use such a slanderous word, to Sifu is the fact that every time you die, you get a chance to get back up and try again, but you're a little bit older. So right now I'm a 20-year-old, very, very good whippersnapper who's here to pound some faces. So let's just start off with this guy. Now, I'm trying to practice parrying. In my first playthrough, I didn't really parry enough. Okay, this, this guy is... is uh, no, no real slouch himself. Yeah, enjoy all those punches to your face and or groin. Okay, so check it out. It's the club that's very subtly called the club. Yeah. Now, there are these couple times what where there's like these uh, optional dialogue options. Uh, last time I said Sean and it became a fight. So this time, no, let's just say business. none of your business because no matter what, it's going to become a fight. We got a problem here. All right. How's it going there, gentlemen? Yeah. Uh, that guy just walked straight through a table. Very cool, very cool. Uh, so, I do have the ability to dodge, which this, so I can do like this dodge. Dodge is also the run button, though, so I can just straight up run over here. Let's kick this bag. Hey, buddy, how do you feel about bags? So, in this game, it's very much based on the whole idea. Oh, God, you're about to see my first death for sure. So, let me show you this. Each time your death counter increases, you have the chance to restart the entire mission, or you can choose to get back up. Now, it seems like your deaths multiply. So the first time you get one year older, the second time you get two years older, three years older, four years older, each subsequent death. Now, the downside of that is that each time you die, as you'll see here on the screen, you get older, and then as you get older, two things happen at once. You deal more damage, but you have less total health. Now, originally, this isn't that much. Like, oh man, that guy just totally ate it. Like, at the start here, the first couple deaths you die are not really that substantial. Like, it feels like my health bar goes down, you know, maybe 5%, but that does really begin to add up. This dude's ass. Hey, how's it going there? Oh, you don't want to let me in your club? You don't want to let me in your club? Oh, you, now you don't want to get to have an esophagus. All right, so now let's go into the club proper. So, each time you get older, obviously you age up a tiny bit stat-wise, but you also age up cosmetically. My character, during the course of the demo, I'm going to die. I'm not going to sugarcoat it as much as I have appreciated this game. I'm not the best at it as of yet, so I'm definitely going to freaking die more often and get some gray hairs and get some more uh, increased damage at a cost. Now, it seems like this may be my leveled up character. When I first beat the demo, obviously I... Uh... Ooh, hey bud. Which is good. Whoop! Oh man, you don't have knees anymore. Oh god, oh, I'm gonna try and go over here and get some range. I really think kicking items is overpowered. So, while I'm fighting here, I have a punch button. Let me just finish, finish dying real quick. I want to show you the different styles of fighting here. So I'm choosing to resurrect again. Each time these different beads on your little like prayer thing here, these do sort of run out. Each time you age up ever so slightly, it multiplies. So you saw that first time I died once, it cost me one year of my lifespan. Now it's going to cost me two years of my lifespan and it drains a little bit of whatever the heck magic freaking beads you saw right there. But going back to the controls here. So I've got my punch. I've got a more quick low strike, so I've got basically like a high punch and a low punch, like that. And then I have this kick. Oh, that hurt. That was a good kick. Hey, bud. Oh. 
He stopped it. Interesting. Oh, I have not actually seen someone stop a special attack before, but I see he's all glowing, uh, glowing gold. Interesting. So as I build up my own combos, there's like this uh, specialty meter. Like, watch. Sure, I'll do it on one of these guys. You hold left trigger, and then once you select somebody, you choose to do a special attack on them. Now, it's really good specifically for big dudes like that, because he's already doing so much damage to me. Look how low my health bar is. My health bar is right there below my... Uh, my level and I'm not doing so great all right so next life here let's see so you can also see I also have my talent trees here throw an item weapon drops directly to the ground smash foes with focus that's pretty good let's see if there's a powerful strike to enemies knees yeah you know what let's permanently unlock that let's let's Oh, those were the ones I've already unlocked. So yeah, this does have my already leveled up character because I did beat the demo once previously to turning on this recording device. All right, I'm getting up to 26 years old. Now, each time you age up, as I did say, you have a little bit less health and a little bit more damage, but what makes it uh, more drastic is that you can only age up until about your 70s. This guy is absolutely just a trash can. Can I draw him into, let me, let me use a weapon, hey bud. All right, there we go. Now, I really want to try and do a nice parry on this guy. Oh my gosh, he broke my neck so freaking fast. Now, it seems like I'm sucking here, but I feel like this is part of what's cool about it is that I appreciate the fact that this is one of those games where it seems like like practice makes perfect, that you are going to... Oh, hold on, let me try and finish her. So when you have somebody on the ground, you can hold B, and it does these extra strikes on them. All right, let me get that beer bottle. Like, this is what I like, is that it feels like a martial arts movie where it's not just about being physically stronger than my opponents, it also comes down to the fact that, like, you need to be able to be more vicious, more tactical, more intelligent than your opponents. Like, this lady right here, the first time I bought this, uh, beat her, she, it was like a flawless victory. Like, oh god, it ain't gonna be that way this time. Alright, let's see. Um, oh, I don't have enough focus. So that's your special bar that lets you do that. Here, let me see. Uh, so I have an extra ability I can unlock here. For blade weapons, I can now slash people. Parry at the right moment to catch an item thrown at you. Let's try that one out. Very situational, but it seems like it could be strong because with multiple opponents, I feel like the biggest difficulty curve to Sifu is just the times when you're flat out overwhelmed by opponents. Now, this game is coming, I know for a fact, to uh, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and it is going to be on uh, Epic Game Store. So, whoop de doo to those who do love or hate Epic Game Store. Uh, I'm currently playing this on PC uh, because a lot of developer builds only exist on PC. Okay, that hurt real bad. So skipping ahead here a tiny bit to show you a bit more just later into the demo itself. I've now made it to the back room. I've defeated the first boss. There's like three separate bosses during the course of this little demo. So it seems like the level is going to be pretty packed full of like more difficult enemies than just the standard fare. But as you can see, I am definitely getting older. I've got a little bit of silver in my hair. My character is now uh, aged 41. I am taking a beating. But it does seem like so far I am still managing to keep on ticking. So... Let's see what's up with this guy. Hey, bud, how's it going? So, I like the fact that thus far, it feels like all the encounters are so fluid. I'm really enjoying the fact that, like, every single fight, like, right here, I have to consider where my opponents are around me. Who's going to try and come up behind me? When I should block? When I should counter? When it's best to try and save my focus or do one of these specialty takedowns? I like that there's this interesting mix of gameplay. Uh, gosh. I mean, more than anything else, I have to say... They really managed to just make punching people feel good. Impact is a word I feel like we use a lot in video games now because more and more art forms are managing to do that. Make it where, as I'm breaking these dudes' faces, it feels like I'm breaking these dudes' faces. Like this guy right here, hey, here, have a nice bottle. That's awesome. Like, look, at I kicked him straight up across the room. Let's go ahead and do a nice little takedown on you. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I have to say the, the animation department. Like, right here, once you get into that flow, you can just start to drop people back to back to back. Like, man, this, this is one of those games that I feel like it, it almost feels like preheat in the oven. And then once you have that oven preheated, it's just absolute shake and bake. Can I put this guy out the window? Let's see here. Let me just kick this. Oh, there was a good little parry right there. 
All right, well, that guy's on the ground. Before he gets back up, let me see if I can... Oh, he got back up quick. All right, so here is uh, one of the toughies. Oh, my gosh! Can I do a takedown before he gets back up? Oh, I didn't get a chance to do it in time. Okay, I'm going to still train. Oh! I died a coward's death there. To be honest, I absolutely deserved it. Let's see what ability I can get here. For blade weapons, that was that one. While on the ground, parry to counter enemies. Interesting. Yeah, let's try that. And now I'm getting back up. So you see that the uh, the beads on my belt are actually running out. This is a way of showing basically that you can only age to, uh, to 70. Once you're 70, or a little bit over 70, uh, you just run out of years. I guess it's because it is still based on the, the normal male lifespan is like 80 years. So can't go past that. All right, can I? Oh, yeah, stay down. Oh my gosh, he snapped my neck. Now, you'll notice that there is definitely going to be a pride to beating this game with a single life. A lot of times whenever I do die, it asks if I would like to get back up or if I am choosing to completely restart the level. I actually think it's pretty interesting the fact that this is a game that really, like, it is for perfectionists if you choose to play it like that. I do want to say, you're about to see the one major detriment I do have to the game itself. So as I enter this next room here, this is the back room of the club. It's about to be this little, like, a fighting arena thing. Now, I still feel like the camera is too close to my back. Like, during the course of a lot of these fights and stuff, this is so close. Now, right here, it's bumping into a wall, but a lot of times, times like this, being able to tell where enemies are coming from, sometimes being able to watch out for that next group of foes that's popping up to try and take you down, it feels like it's just... In an effort to try and be so dramatic, it feels like it's just so zoomed in. I'm hoping that in the final build of the game, I can click a button to actually manually zoom out. Because personally, even if it is in these tinier spaces, I think it'd be nice to not quite be glued to my own shoulder so closely. Like, times like this, I feel like I can't as much appreciate this big, beautiful, graphically interesting area because I'm stuck trying to look at these girls in sports bras pound me into the pavement. I just wish that it was a little bit more zoomed out. Okay, so I've pretty much died on this playthrough. I've run out of health for the most part. I'm an old man, and uh, I'm about to run out of all my lives. But I want to end the video here and just say that Sifu, as it currently exists, is certainly an interesting project. I'm having fun with the demo itself, which is only a singular level. It's coming out in February, and I'm definitely going to be checking it out. I kind of appreciate weirder indie games that are trying to do something like this. It's a martial arts epic with sort of crazy aging. I, I don't know. I'm definitely going to check it out. What do you guys think of it? Is this something that strikes your fancy or is this just not your tastes? Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below and if you enjoyed this video please give it a giant thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.